think I bought that much, but clearly I did. Rid I'm ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. I know. You guys, it is time. Well, first off, I apologize about the lighting going in and out. The sun is like moving and shifting. So if you see the shift of the light throughout this video, I apologize. But I like using natural light. I'm a natural light girl. I like sitting right in front of the windows. And there's a window right here. And it might, the lighting just might shift. Number two, is it cold enough for this sweater? No. Is it cold at all? No. No. Do I have my AC cranked all the way down so I can wear this sweater for the sake of feeling Christmassy in this video? Yes, and this isn't even a Christmassy sweater. It was just the first one that I grabbed out of my closet. Today we are doing the Christmas decor haul. I am so excited. The amount of these videos I have been watching. I love seeing what other people get. Even if I don't get any of it, I just love seeing other people's ideas. I love seeing what other people's themes are gonna be. I love seeing what they come up with with what they find. I am obsessed. So in this video, I am only going to be showing you what I got. I'm not going to be decorating. I have to wait. Unfortunately, we're doing a real tree this year and we can't get our tree until December. So I have to wait to decorate until like right around then. So I think I'm gonna decorate maybe like the week before Thanksgiving because I won't be here for Thanksgiving. So what is that, like next week, I guess. So I will be posting an entire, wow, you see the sun is, is playing me. I'll be posting an entire video of decorating with me, kind of like how I did with my Halloween decor. So this is a very slow curated bunch of things that I have been purchasing since I'd say last month. Um, this year, I did not want to go crazy normally, you guys. The amount of decor that I buy is problematic. It is ridiculous. And I am one of those people that I change my theme every single year, which is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. But every year I wanna put my creativity in a different color scheme, in different wrapping paper, in different ornaments, and things like that. This year I was like, no, we're not doing a completely different theme. Although my theme is very specific this year, I am gonna use majority of what I already have mixed with a couple of these pieces, well, all of these pieces that I picked up. Um, so this year, my theme is more of like a very old traditional Christmas. I am not going neutrals. I, ugh, I'm so over the neutral Christmas thing because it's like Christmas is like for fun and glam and glitter and sparkles and twinkle lights and red and green. And I know so many people are like anti-red, they don't do color boring very boring if you're one of those people no offense but it's boring i've done it before one year i did black white and green last year was the first time that i started incorporating red and it is the first christmas that i was excited walking into my house and seeing red i was obsessed with it red isn't like my go-to color i prefer colors on like the cooler end of the spectrum like i love greens my favorite color is blue i love purples red is very hard for me to get into but i don't know what it is Christmas is not Christmas without red. And this year I am leaning all into it, but I wanted very old, traditional, almost, I don't wanna say old world, but almost old world. Like I wanted it to look like I was walking through a Game of Thrones castle during Christmas time, but then adding pops of red to it. You'll see what I mean. But all these pieces were either at Home Goods, Amazon, where else did I get some of this stuff? Ikea, Anthropology. There's just kind of like a mix of stuff here. So I'm gonna go one by one in no particular order and just show you everything that I got. One thing that I really, really, really wanted to get this year was dishware. So if you follow my vlogs, if you watch my videos, you know that I have like an addiction to tablescapes and setting things up whenever I'm gonna host people. A tablescape, is everything to me and i you guys know i'm a very visual person i did visual merchandising for a very very long time so the way that things look is like my pride and joy even my sister tells me like i don't know why you didn't go to school for this because like you are so into like the way that things look visually like i am obsessed with it it gives a feeling wow and so i really wanted to find cute but like 
I don't want to say cheesy, but borderline cheesy Christmas, Christmas like dishware and serveware. And you'll see what I mean in a second, but let's just get started. Let's get into it. So first thing I bought, I actually went to Home Goods yesterday and I went in on the dishware. So I found this plate. Tell me this is not the cutest thing in the entire world. This year I said, I don't care about aesthetic. I don't care about vibe. I want my Christmas theme this year. I want you to be able to feel happiness and joy and coziness and warmth and I want you to feel the spirit of Christmas in my decor like that is what everything is about to me the feeling the emotion the everything attached to like these little things I wanted to bring a feeling to whoever's walking in if you see a photo like I want I, I don't want it to be this picture picture perfect I can't touch anything I wanted to feel comfortable I wanted to feel like a hug when I saw this they had these and they had ones that had teddy bears with a red scarf I I almost bought both I almost bought one of this one and one of that one but I was like slow down so I got this plate and it is made in Portugal which I thought was really cool you can actually see the glaze that's over it like it is stunning I don't know if you can see like the image in there but it looks like it was hand done not sure if it was but I just think this would be so cute for a tablescape if I had the girls over and I wanted to have cheese and crackers and fruits and things like that or if we baked and we wanted to put cookies on here or you know Christmas Eve if I don't know if I'm hosting I doubt I'm hosting but if I wanted to host something and have everybody over this could hold I don't know little treats croissants Christmas breakfast we could put our croissants on here I just thought this was so cute and it's so traditional because it's a Christmas hat like I just this gave me that feeling it gave me warmth and cozy and cutesy and this was $4.99 I don't even know if there's a brand to it because on the back it just has the price and that it was made in Portugal but I am obsessed with these if you guys see these in your home goods oh my god they are the most precious I just, I just die. I die. Next up, I got these oven mitts. And I actually wanted to get new oven mitts because our oven mitts we've had, I think, I think I brought them from my apartment when I met Tyler. Like, once I moved in with him when I wasn't in my apartment anymore, like when my lease was up, I think I brought these oven mitts. And I think they were from, like, the Dollar Tree. They are so worn out and just, like, they have burn marks, stains. I mean, that's what they're for. But I really wanted to get cute Christmas oven mitts. Are... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They are Ralph Lauren, which I thought was so nice. Lauren by Ralph Lauren. And they have the grippies inside. So when you're putting in a cast iron or a, a, a casserole or a Dutch oven, whatever it is that you're putting in the oven, you can actually grip it with these. I love, I literally die for this. I love the traditional Christmas print, but it's not tacky or cheesy. It's like very pretty and classic. These are something that I will use every single year for Christmas. Like, I'll put these away when Christmas is over and bring them back out because they are so classic, timeless Christmas. I am obsessed with these. I got these at Home Goods as well. I don't remember how much they were. I think they were like $9.99. But I am obsessed with them. And I really, really want to try baking something this year. I cannot bake. Tyler is an incredible baker. He will bake cookies from scratch, brownies from scratch. He's so good at baking. I will burn the whole house down if I try to bake. I could cook, but I can't bake. But I really want to try cooking or baking, whether it's cookies or brownies. I really want to try it this year. So I just thought these were perfect. And this is like the season to bake. I just, I love them. Next up is something else that I got at Home Goods, And this is a Christmas tree. It says it was made in India. A Christmas tree like little dish. And I feel like you could put anything in here. You could put pine cones you could put really anything but i wanted to use this for hosting again i love i'm getting really into like my hostess era i was trying to get this off but whatever i'm really in my hostess era right now and i just want to host everything i want everybody to come over and i want to display everything and i want to cook all the food and make pretty cocktails like that's just where i'm at in my life right now i guess it comes with getting older but i just thought this was gorgeous it's this beautiful like brushed gold it's hammered so you can see all the texture in here it's actually very heavy um it says it was handmade and it was made in india and this was 9.99 but i figured again like if you bake cookies and you want to put them on here or let's say you're doing a charcuterie board and your charcuterie board like the actual board is a square or a circle you can put this down and put like crackers here and then cheese here or you know you can fill this with cookies or you can put 
napkins or just something on this but i just saw again this was such classic christmas it's just a standard Christmas tree in a brush gold. This will go with any theme. If you want to do red, if you want to do black, if you want to do yellow, any theme will go with this. And I just, I loved it. They had a bigger size as well. Um, but I wanted the smaller size so that I can add it into my tablescape without it overpowering the rest of the tablescape, if that makes sense. So I love this. I can't wait to just set up. My, oh, I can't wait. Uh, I guess everything from Home Goods is coming out um, first. So this year I made it a point to really start. Well, I won't say this year. This like fall season, I really want to get mugs for every season. I don't care what it is. If it's Easter, Halloween, Valentine's Day, New Year's, I want mugs for every single season. So last year I got us mugs that say Mr. and Mrs. Claus because we were engaged for last Christmas. So this year, I literally die guys i die these are from home goods as well um it says lang lang so i guess that's what it is are you kidding me if this does not make you feel happy i i don't know i don't know this is happiness and they're big so if you're someone that likes a really big cup of coffee like I saw these and I was like, this looks like something that my mom would have had when I was younger, drinking her cup, her coffee out of, or like your Christmas morning cup of coffee. This is what you drink your Christmas coffee out of. And I'm obsessed. It says that they were painted by hand, which I thought was really cool. It is so dark right now, but I just am in love with this. Like, tell me this doesn't give you like drinking your coffee in front of a fire, which I don't have, in your sweater, which I probably won't be wearing because it'll be like 90 degrees. But this is gorgeous and it just again it makes me feel as soon as i saw them it made me feel happy and that's what i want for this christmas so i got two of these these were 5.99 each so what 12 bucks for the set and i am freaking obsessed with them like no no just no between this these this like are you kidding a croissant two croissants on christmas morning with this no no it's all about feeling this year all about feeling another serving item so i got this which i thought was gorgeous this says that it was handcrafted in turkey so that's super cool i have something from turkey i have india i have portugal which is just so cool i love this because it wasn't red it was green and this has just like pine trees all throughout looking at this reminds me of when i was in colorado we went to keystone colorado two years ago like right before christmas and i was in awe at all of the pine trees it was beautiful 9.99 and i just think again for serving whether you're serving garlic bread um if you want to put vegetables like let's say you make like roasted carrots or roasted potatoes and just want to put them all on here for people to serve themselves i just think this is gorgeous like this and then have this like above it with something else like it's just so pretty and again classic traditional christmas like this is something that will look good no matter what your theme is it's <sighs> you guys i just love it I, lo I i don't think i've ever been so happy about christmas decor the way i have this year like this year i'm really feeling the happiness in my christmas decorations like big time next i will show you guys the wrapping paper i told myself i was not gonna buy wrapping paper this year because i have so much wrapping paper i actually have a very serious addiction to wrapping paper i don't i don't get it I get more excited about the wrapping paper than I do about the gifts. That's how serious it is. I usually will get a wrapping paper for my nieces and nephews. I will get a wrapping paper for one of my sisters because her birthday is on Christmas. So I'll wrap her presents all in that same, like her special wrapping paper. Tyler gets to pick out a wrapping paper and I wrap all of his gifts in that wrapping paper. My friends, kids, my godchildren, all of them, they get one wrapping paper and then any other gifts get another wrapping paper. That's how ridiculous I am. But this year, I'm going to try to use the wrapping paper that I actually have, and I have a lot of it, but I wanted it to be cozy and kind of old looking. So I found this yesterday at Home Goods while I was checking out, and it just has like cottages, it has deer, snowmen, and it looks almost like it was like sketched, like someone drew it. And I just loved it this was 3.99 so it was four bucks and i also like the color of it as well it's like a, a off-white ivory sort sort of color and it's funny because every time we do christmas presents with my family and we open gifts everyone always says that i have the best wrapping like i take my wrap 
very serious because it's part of your decor. Like I love wrapping paper. So this is the only one that I bought for this year and this is the only one I will buy except for the tradition of wrapping Tyler's gifts in all one paper unless he chooses one of the ones like we already have. But I love this paper so much. Like again, it makes me feel something. It looks like little doodles that you would see in like a school or something. And then I do have red wrapping paper which I'm gonna use since most of my decor has red. And I have like a very old like newspaper looking paper which i'm very excited about but i had to get this when i i was literally checking out and i turned around and i saw it and i was like is it too late and he was like no you can add it next up is something that i actually was not planning to buy like this wasn't on my list of things to buy but when i saw them i was like mm, i'm buying those and these are from the threshold with studio mcgee collection at target they were 15 dollars each and these are faux cedar stems do you guys see how real these look this looks like it's real cedar. Like I want to put them in a really big pot that I don't have. So I'm gonna have to buy one. There's a hair stuck to my lip. But I just thought these were so realistic and how beautiful would these look with twinkle lights on them? Like gorgeous. I love them. $15 each, like I said, and they are like real touch. Like you feel them and it's like, they just did such an incredible job with these. And I'm really trying to invest in all of my decor in general whether it's christmas decor halloween decor thanksgiving decor i want all of my decor to be really good quality so that i can reuse it over and over again and these are in these are like this is beautiful like gorgeous this actually inspired the garland that i got which i'm going to show you guys in a second um and i have a whole story to go on and on about with my garland but love these i'll link these down below i'll link everything down below but if i can find these on target's website i will link them as well another target item that i bought this is the most beautiful nutcracker ever. This is also from Threshold. Is this Studio McGee? This could be the Studio McGee one. I can't remember. I don't know. But this is a brass nutcracker. And I actually don't have that many nutcrackers. I have like a regular red traditional, like regular nutcracker. I have two like black nutcrackers. I have a woman and a man. And then I have a glitzed out nutcracker. I thought this one was perfect. Again, any theme. It doesn't matter if your theme is red, white, green purple orange this will go with your theme it is so heavy like everything that i got is such nice quality this was 25 dollars, and i had actually seen it twice and kept saying like i'm not gonna get it i'm not gonna get it because i'm very very much on a budget in my lifestyle right now but i had gone in to target and i saw it and i was like i'm getting i'm getting it like that's it that's it but it is stunning the detail of it is just beautiful and it looks like an old traditional kind of old world nutcracker it is just gorgeous the mouth obviously moves and it's really really heavy like heavy duty the bottom is wood i know the ones last year they were brass at the bottom but i just i think it's it's beautiful if i know these still i had they had so many at the target that i went to when i actually ended up picking it up so i would highly recommend this nutcracker this nutcracker is gorgeous beautiful quality and again it will go with any theme it doesn't matter what your theme is next up is some what are these hand kitchen kitchen towels there we go so i got these because my old landlord used to get us william sonoma towels for every season like as a gift william sonoma towels and hand soap with hand lotion she would get us one for summer then she would get us one for winter like every single year these look exactly like them like exactly like them the quality is so nice but these say feliz navidad on them and i was like oh my god like how cute is it that it says something in spanish and obviously i'm puerto rican so i like to carry a lot of puerto rican traditions into my little family it's only me and my husband it's still so weird to say that because we just got married um and my husband's german so i love bringing in puerto rican things puerto rican cultured things and i just love these the quality like i said beautiful i love the shade of the red they look they're oh they're just stunning and these were 6.99 um they had them in green as well and i almost got them and then i saw the red and i was like i want the red ones so this is what they look like up close they're really thick and just beautiful that's what the inside looks like i'm obsessed with them like this is probably one of my favorite things that i've purchased because they're beautiful like i love these hopefully i don't get them too dirty but these are again like with this <laughs> you guys i'm ridiculous i'm ridiculous i know next up is something that i actually bought at goodwill and i almost purchased purchased these at home goods which if you want these they had so many at home goods marshall's everywhere 
They are these beautiful stemless wine glasses with stags on them. These are gorgeous, like so pretty. I was at Goodwill because I was looking for a blazer. That's what I went in for. And I just browsed through the home section, see what I could find. And I saw these and I was like, oh my God, I see these all the time at Home Goods. I originally seen them at Home Goods or Marshalls. And these were still in the box and they were on sale for I think $5.99. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was $5.99. And I'm obsessed with them. Like, I feel like if I have maybe, like, one friend over, I can make, like, a mulled wine or I can make, like, a cider sort of drink with, like, a cinnamon stick and berries inside. Like, just beautiful. And they're, like, beautiful quality. The stag looks so nice. I just, this was the very first thing. No, the second thing that I purchased for Christmas. This is what started my Christmas shopping. I bought this a couple of weeks ago. It's a serving board and it's a Christmas tree. This was $25, I think it was, um, at Target. This was the very first thing that I bought when I went to, I think it was like November 1st. I was at Target getting stuff for my husband's tattoo shop and I saw all the serve boards and they had this and a gingerbread cookie and I could not decide which one. Ended up going with the Christmas tree and I just cannot wait to do a charcuterie board on this. Cannot wait. Cheese, crackers, meats, olives, pickles, candy, pretzels, it's gonna be stunning. And again, this is something that I will use every year. It's a Christmas tree. So no matter what your theme is, this is something that will match it. <sighs> I just, you guys don't understand. Like the happiness that I'm feeling for my Christmas decor this year is on another level. It's more than I've ever felt for any Christmas decorations I've ever bought. We're almost done guys. This was something that I've been wanting to get since last year. And I am so impressed with them. They're huge. I originally wanted them for a wreath, but they're ginormous. So it's these harmony bells right here, and these literally look like Game of Thrones. These look like something that they had on the Game of Thrones doors. Just stunning. These were in made in India as well, handcrafted in India. They have real bells on them. Like This just gives me very, very, very old Christmas vibes. And I don't know where I'm going to put them because they are gigantic. First, I was going to put them on like in my garland these will literally pull my garland down from wherever they are so i might just decorate with them like on a shelf or on my console table or wherever but i am in love with these i got them on amazon very inexpensive with and such beautiful quality like do you guys see the detail that is in this like they are just stunning like beautiful so again i don't know what i'm gonna do with these i might hang them on the front door i might use them as decor i'm not 100 percent sure but i this was like the number one thing that i wanted to order and i've had them in my amazon cart since last year literally since last year also i've had in my cart since last year this freaking little wood pedestal i don't know why it took me so long to buy it but i wanted it since last year and it's been in my cart since last year so i actually ordered both of these together so it's this beautiful little hand done wood pedestal you can see all the detail in it it's real wood it's not like a film or anything like that and i wanted this to put whether a candle on top i want to put it on my floor in front of my christmas tree i don't know how that's going to work because i have five animals so it might be a disaster but if that doesn't work out i'm going to put it on some sort of surface and put whether it be a candle or one of the bells or something like that but i really really wanted this and again this gives me game of thrones it gives me old it gives me old world traditional vintage Christmas type thing <sighs> Okay, this is one of my favorite things I think I've ever purchased ever This plate I got at anthropology was not planning on buying this I was out shopping with a client for a party that she was going to and we walked into anthropology to see if we could find something and I saw this and I was like I need to have that like it's not even a question and if you know me if you watch my videos you know amsterdam is my favorite place in the world that i've been so far and this is basically the canals during christmas time which it's kind of funny because if it was cold like there's snow here this should be frozen there shouldn't be boats on it there should be people ice skating but whatever it's, it's a photo so whatever but i am in love with this i was like i am gonna eat my croissants out of this Anything that I make during Christmas time that I'm going to eat is going to be on this. I love the detail. It's beautiful and it's Amsterdam. So, hmm, 
I am obsessed with this. They have a whole bunch of different countries. I think they had um, London, Brazil. They had a couple different countries. I'll leave them linked down below, but they are gorgeous. They also had coffee mugs, which I didn't see in person, but I saw them online when I was looking at this online. Um, which I would have gotten the coffee mug because I would use that more, but I still absolutely love this. Speaking of traditions and my husband being German, I have started implementing German Christmas traditions in our Christmas because I want to make sure that both of our cultures are kind of intertwined. And he's not like super, super, super German. Like he wasn't born there, but his grandparents are like very German. His entire family's German. Like they're all German. Um, we've gone to Germany. He's been to Germany many times. And one of the things that we brought in, I think, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. I think it was the year before. My mom actually got it for us. It was a pickle ornament. And apparently there's a tradition in Germany where they put the pickle in the tree and whatever kid can spot the pickle gets like an extra little gift on Christmas. We don't have kids obviously, but I was like, that's so cute. So my mom actually got us the pickle ornament, which I love. I love that my mom got it for us. Um, and then this year we were in Target and we were at the dollar spot, like a little exciting section and they had one of these boots and apparently they're called das boot i'm not sure tyler just kept saying that um but it is basically a huge boot and this is a very german thing they usually drink beer out of these tyler doesn't really drink ever i don't drink beer so i was like what am i supposed to do with this and he was like you have to get it like he was very adamant about me getting this boot so i was like all right it was five bucks in the dollar spot if you're a beer drinker and you're german or you know somebody that's german this would be such a cute gift with like a cool craft beer or something. But yeah, this was five bucks and I was like, maybe I'll just fill it with some candies. It's funny, I said maybe I'll fill it with Ferrero Rocher's because that's like one of my favorite chocolates and because they're gold, like the next day he went and bought me like a couple Ferrero Rocher's. So I just put them in there just to store them. But I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on my bar cart or you know, just on like a shelf or something, but a German thing that I felt like I, I absolutely had to have. Lastly, you guys, the debacle with my garland this year. I drove myself insane. I wanted the A Floral Norfolk Pine Garland. Sold out everywhere. I should have bought it the first time that I saw it. It was still available, but people are crazy and they sell everything out before it's even the month of, of November. So I go to buy it, it's sold out. I go to their website, it's sold out. I search Norfolk Pine Garland and I end up finding it at Kirkland's. Kirkland's warehouse sold out all the stores sold out. I'm like this is a joke like this has to be a joke But that was the garland that I wanted. I'll put a picture of it right here because it's gorgeous Then I'm on Amazon and I see this garland and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to show it to you guys properly But it is very inspired by the cedar branches that I bought and I love the way the cedar branches look because again They look very real. I didn't want like cheap or plasticky looking like like I said I wanted to invest in all of my Christmas stuff because I want everything to last me for the next Few Christmases so I get online and I order this garland and I did not know if I was gonna like it hate it I love it. Okay. I know it's really hard to see but let's See if I can hold it this way this looks like real garland. Like this looks like real cedar. It looks so freaking good. I think it was $37 and it comes with twinkle lights. So it came with the twinkle lights out so you can actually take them off if you don't want, want it lit up. Not sure what I want to do yet, but when I got this last night and I turned it on, let me just show you. It has eight modes, okay? Like, are you guys kidding? This garland makes me so happy. I'm gonna get two more um, because I wanna have a couple. Hopefully I can get some before they sell out. I wanna get more of them, but I am pacing myself because like I said, they're 40, almost $40 each. So to get a whole bunch of them, like, and I'm on a budget. I'm like budgeting myself hardcore right now. And we're leaving to Puerto Rico on Thursday. So I just want to make sure I slow myself down. But that garland is stunning. I'm going to put it on my 
um, entertainment center for my TV, like my TV console, and then I wanna get another one because I wanna put them on like around the doorways. So yeah, Garland, amazing. So that is everything that I wanted to show you guys for my Christmas decor this year. Um, I have a lot more decor in my garage that I'm gonna pull out to kind of tie in with this theme. So be sure to come back or subscribe so that you can see when I decorate for Christmas. I am so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will have every single thing linked down below, whether it was Amazon, if I can find it on Home Goods. now that you can shop on Home Goods online, I will link that as well, everything from Target, I will link. I'll see you guys in the next video.